Yeah. Um, 100%, yeah. Um, incredibly proud of that performance. Um, I thought for large periods of the game, we were well in the game. I thought the start to the game was brilliant. Um, I think we're actually the better team for the first 12, 30 minutes. Um, and then, obviously, we concede from a wide free kick, um, which we you know, could have done a little bit better with. And then the second one's a real <laughs> cruel deflection and you you find yourself 2-0 down, thinking, scratching your head, thinking, I'm not sure how we are 2-0 down. Um, I don't think we did too many things in, wrong in the game. Um, at half-time, we spoke about the things that would be important to us in the second half, and I thought we came out and give a really good account of ourselves in the second half as well. And the keepers pulled off some decent saves. I thought for large periods of the game, we had quite a lot of the possession. I know they managed the game a little bit in the second half, as senior players would do. Um, but we went right to the end. We played like a Liverpool team. Um, and I think the supporters who stayed behind and the way they supported us really appreciated the, the players' efforts tonight. Yeah, that was a special moment. Um, I thought the conduct of the Aston Villa players towards our players all night was first class. Um, and for Dean Smith and John Terry to come in the dressing room and say such complimentary words to our players was a special moment for that for our group of players, and that will live with us for a long time. Um, that was um, top top class, I thought. I know there's a lot of positives in terms of those players out there, but the fact is that Liverpool played for one match tonight and lost five nil. Is that is that right? Is that should you be in this position? Should those players be in this position? It just seems we haven't chosen. That's um, that's what's been decided by um, the club. This is the best solution for for um, for the club and what we've decided. And try and t try telling them the players in that dressing room tonight that it was a bad thing for them. Uh, if you came into our dressing room at the end, you you would know the feeling that those players have had. You can't swap that experience um, for anything. That was a special evening for them. Um, and. We're the beneficiaries of um, the success of the first team. We're jumping on the back of the roller coaster a little bit. Um, but uh, that's what's been decided. We're here, and I don't think we could have done much more tonight. I know you probably won't want to sit in with anyone there, but Harvey Elliott at 16, mm -hmm. uh, exceptional. Mm -hmm. How far away is he from the regular senior? Not too far, because he trains with our first team on a regular basis. He's had first team exposure already. Um, the manager, obviously, and the staff think a lot of him. Um, I thought he was a constant threat all night tonight, um, a really good outlet for us. Um, but, you know, someone, he was reliant on a lot of the players getting the ball too, and I thought the service to him was, was top class as well. Um, I wouldn't want to single anyone out, because I thought, um, as a collective tonight, the whole play, the, the the whole group of players, the subs included, um, were, were, I say, I couldn't, we couldn't have done any, any more. I, I thought um, we played like a Liverpool team and that was really, really important to us. We, we spoke about what we could control before the game, um, what was important to us. Um, good, bad or indifferent, we never quit. And I, 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 can't, I don't think you can accuse any of the, the Liverpool players tonight of um, putting their heads down and being downhearted when when some of the goals went in, we stuck at it right to the end. Yeah, he showed what a top class goalkeeper he is and um, could become in the future. Um, I thought he pulled off some magnificent saves in the second half. We ran out of steam a little bit, as you could see. Um, the young players, some of them started to cramp. Um, and we didn't control those moments well enough, but that's the inexperience of young players. Um, you, you could see though the, the Aston Villa players starting to control the game, and it's very difficult when you're 4-0 down and you've got our young players who are 
running all over the pitch and desperate to make an impression and senior players with that cool head can just start to pick you off and they start to do that a little bit. Um, but I, I've got to be honest, I thought 5-0 was, was quite a harsh scoreline on us. Yeah, we, we don't want the night to end. Even speaking here with you guys now, this is great experience, so I'll stay here all night if you want and have a chat with you. Um, you probably want to go home, but um, if you want me to talk about those players in there tonight, I'll, I'll be here all night. Um, I thought we were... Um, um, I was incredibly proud of the way our players played the game tonight and how we approached the game. Um, our pressing, our counter-pressing. Um, uh, I was... Um, yeah, I was. I was part of it, and I was with him, with them on the touchline. The staff was part of it, and I say I'm just fortunate to be to share something special with those group of players and the staff tonight. And I've got to say, I'll say it again: the support that we had. I mean, it's Christmas. They're well aware of the team that was going to be on that pitch tonight, and they came in the thousands, and they stayed right to the end and clapped all those young players off the pitch. It shows what a special football club this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had some uh, information at half time from the manager, um, basically to keep playing the way we were playing and uh, keep being brave, keep doing what we were doing. Um, so he was out there watching with the staff and the players, and I hope that, um, and I'm sure he will be. Um, I'm sure he'll be proud of um, the way we played tonight. Um, so maybe one or two of ours now will be. Uh, Sneaking off on a plane somewhere and joining that group, and um, I'm sure they'll be well received. I don't I, I honestly know that at the moment. Um, there's, that's just been decided now. Um, some will be going. Um, I, I couldn't tell you the names at the moment because we have to assess the players now. To obviously a quick turnaround, um, so we need to make some decisions when we when I leave uh, when I leave here in a minute. Yeah, it's just cramp. Yeah, yeah, no, no issues. Just cramp. Um, he's never suffered with it before, so we didn't know what was actually going on. So, uh, but he's fine. He's fine. Yeah, no problems. Thanks very much.